This video is going to feature a warm-up routine that I have used for years and really helped me get my sound together, especially in the earlier days of playing the saxophone. <laughs> very challenging routine and it involves just gaining embouchure strength and control over every note that you are able to play on the saxophone. The routine itself is actually relatively simple. The difficult part and the challenge is doing it to completion and despite the embouchure fatigue that you may feel during the routine, actually having the discipline to do it day after day. For me, whenever I get a new instrument or if I feel like I'm out of shape and I really need to gain some confidence in my sound and control in my sound, I always revert to this specific routine because I found that while it is the most challenging, it also provides the best and quickest results. The basic gist of the routine is that you set your metronome at 40 beats per minute. What I'm using here is the Pro Metronome app on my iPhone. You don't necessarily need any kind of fancy metronome to do this. You just need a metronome that sets at 40. And what I'm also using is the Strobe Tuner app. I believe this one's called Pano Tuner on my iPhone as well. This one has Google ads at the top because I still have the free version. You also want to use a tuner while you do this exercise. Each note on the saxophone is going to have its own tendencies and it's pretty hard to play every note exactly and perfectly in tune, but the tuner will allow you to really learn your instrument and know the tendencies. Specifically, when you get a new instrument, sometimes notes are going to be and sit in different places. So having this reference and doing this a couple days in a row, or if not a couple weeks in a row, will really help you learn your instrument on a much deeper level than you would have if you had never done this exercise. So the way this exercise works is you start with the lowest note on the saxophone, the low B flat, and you start at as quiet of a volume that you can play that B flat at and crescendo for four beats at 40 BPM into the next note where you will go up a half step and decrescendo on your low B flat. It's going to be difficult to start a low B flat at pianissimo volume, but this is one of the challenges of this exercise and another thing that just it brings to the table for an awareness of how can I get those low notes out at a soft volume and have the control to maintain a full tone throughout that note for four beats and into the next note for another four beats and decrescendo. There's a lot of mechanics in your armature that this exercise is going to require and it's really going to force you to have a much better control and grasp of your sound. So here's this first low B flat, three, four. <laughs> From there, you would go up an octave to the next note. Three, four. And while you do this, if you're keeping your eyes on the tuner, you're going to hear how sharp or flat you're getting when you're making minor adjustments with your embouchure. Normally, I would suggest tuning with a drone and listening to the pitch that you're tuning to. In this situation, because this exercise is moving to different pitch centers and you don't wanna to have to change the drone for every different pitch center that you do, you're going to want to use a tuner just because it's going to be that much easier to monitor how in tune you are. Moving up a half step to the next note, so we're going to go B to C now. Three, four. And you'll see, sometimes these notes don't always come out right away on the low end. So what I recommend doing is just starting at the volume that's going to produce the sound. It might not always be pianissimo or quiet, but starting at a volume where you can get the note out is going to be much better for your sanity, as well as lead to more control in that register in the long run. So three, four. <laughs>
So you'll notice there's a lot of things happening there. My armature is not actually stable for the entire length of the note. Towards the end of that low C, I started to lose the note at the end. Uh, you'll notice also too, when I start the note, a lot of times my pitch will start a little bit sharper. And then as you crescendo, the pitch drops a little bit. And then as you decrescendo again, the pitch comes up a little bit. So all of these things are going to be things that you're going to start to become more and more aware of as a result of doing this routine. I'm gonna do a couple more notes, keeping a better eye on the tuner. As you go up the notes of the instrument, you'll find that it's easier to control the notes from the very beginning. Because the saxophone is a conical instrument, the lower notes on the horn are generally going to be less stable than the higher notes. Now I'm gonna do C to C sharp. One thing my teacher, Joe Basotti, used to do was make us, if we could play the altissimo notes, he would make us do the long tones on the altissimo note as well. This really helped me to develop that much more control of my armature on these skyrocket high notes. Uh, I'm going to try an altissimo C to C sharp here. So you'll hear with all of these notes, they're going to have their challenges that they present. And as a result of approaching all of these challenges, you're going to naturally get more control of your embouchure, of your sound, and improve your tone quality if you are consistently doing this exercise. It's actually been a little while since I have returned to this exercise. In my younger years, and especially as a classical saxophone major at the University of Cincinnati, I was doing this exercise a lot and consistently and felt like I had really good armature control and could hold a much steadier tone throughout the scale of the instrument, much better than what you just heard there. But the whole reason I wanted to demonstrate this is to show you that it's not going to be a perfect exercise when you do it. But if you do do it in completion for every note in every octave of the instrument, you're going to find that in a couple of days, you're going to have a much more sophisticated control of the instrument. If you're interested in more daily routine exercises, I have created a free course called the Routine Improvement System where I dive into four areas. This was area number one, tone and sound control. Within that course, I go on to address three other very specific things. Uh, regarding technique, learning melodies in all 12 keys, and learning tunes as a jazz improviser, which is what I specialize in these days. There's a link to the free course in the description below. It's going to provide you a lot of insight, especially if you're interested in any of those other three topics. While no method is perfect and no routine has all the answers to it, this is one that I wanted to share with the world just because I feel a sense of completion when I am able to address these four topics in my sessions. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more great stuff on the way from the Saxophone Steve channel.